Hi everybody, my name is Pulkit Chabda and in this video we'll be discussing the next problem of the code forces round 636 uh, which is a div 3 round. Uh, the problem is B, balanced array. So let's read the problem out. The problem says that we are given an integer n, a positive integer n, it is guaranteed that n is even that is divisible by 2. We have to construct an array of length n such that the first n by 2 elements are even, the second uh, n by 2 are odd and uh, all the elements are distinct and positive so greater, th greater than or equal to 1 the sum of the first half equals to the sum of second half right so uh, if there are multiple answers you can print any and it is not guaranteed that the answer exists okay we have to answer t independent test cases the test cases can be from 1 to 10 raised to power 4, then n can be up to 10, 2 to 10 raised to power 5, and the total sum uh, of n overall test cases will not exceed 2 to 10 raised to power 5. So uh, you can read the question once again if it's something is still unclear. I'll be reading, uh, I'll be discussing the solution from now on. It will be a good time to pause the video if you wanna do it that for your do do that for yourself. So uh, yeah. If we, if we make an observation, let's say we are having some even numbers, we are having some odd numbers and their count is uh, same, we want the sum to be equal. The, the sum of the first half is always going to be even, right? Because if we add some even numbers, the sum is also always going to be even. In this case, in the case of odd, uh, if the number of numbers, which is n by 2, if n by 2 equals even, then sum will be even. But if n by 2 equals to odd, then sum will be odd. Which means if our n by 2 value is odd, then these two halves, the first half and the second half, ne can never have an equal sum, right? Because even and odd numbers cannot be equal to each other, right? One is divisible by 2 and another isn't. So the case where n by 2 is odd, uh, the answer is going to be no, right? So, but in the case when n by 2 is even, Let's try to see what the answer possibly can be. If we observe, if we, uh, you know, basically try to find the answer for n equals to 4, which is the smallest uh, number, which have at least n, uh, two numbers in each half, uh, I can see it in the test cases that the answer given here is given as 2, 4, 1, 5. Now in this case, we have made sure that the sum of the first half is equal to the sum of the second half, right? 2, 4 means 6 and 5 means 6. What we can do is, we know that since n by 2 value is even, we can divide the first n by 2 numbers and also the second n by 2 numbers into n by 4 pairs, right? So what I am going to do is, we know that 2, 4 and 1, 5 is a quadruplet which has, uh, you know, uh, like the sum of 2, 4 is equal to 1, 5. What I can do is, if I simply add, you know, uh, 6 to 2, then I'll, if I am adding 6 to 2, it, I'll be sure that the other number is also going to be even, right? So it will be 8 and add 6 to, simply, uh, parallelly add 6 to 4, then 10, it will be 7 and it will be uh, 11. In this case also the numbers are equal, uh, the, the sum of the numbers are equal, 18 and 18. It will be equal because we have just added 6 to each of the numbers. And uh, similarly for the next pair, we can add 6 again, add 6 again. We can keep on doing it and we'll get the first half and the second half. And we'll have make, we, we would have made sure that the sum of the numbers are equal since the first pairs, uh, first two pairs had an equal sum and we didn't do anything but we just added 6 to get the just next pair right i hope the solution is somewhat clear you can uh, try it out for yourself i'll thought i think it will be clear i'll be writing out the code now so for the coding part we first will get the number of test cases then the value of n now we'll say if n by 2 uh, percent 1 uh, sorry n 1 it means that n by 2 is odd then i'll say c out no else my answer is going to be yes and uh, my values are going to be that the values that i'm going to use are 2 4 1 and 5 right 
now I can make an array of size n I'll say I'll, I'll have two pointers i equals to 0 and j equals to n by 2 uh, i is less than j no no not i is less than j i is less than n by 2 uh, i plus plus j plus plus okay what I will do here is I'll say error of i plus plus equals to val of 0 then error of i equals to val of 1 error of j plus plus equals to val of 3 then a of j equals to val of 5 I haven't done i plus plus and j plus plus in the second ones because uh, they'll be incremented once uh, by default now doing this after doing this what I'll have to do is uh, I'll just go from and let's say n percent not it, it is an array it won't work like that for int id equals to 0 id is less than 4 not 4 5 okay there is something wrong it's not val of 0 it's val of 0 val of 1 val of 2 and val of 3 right id is less than 4 plus plus id val of id plus equals to 6 right now by this point i am good to go i'll just iterate the array and print each value let's check for the given sample for the first case n by 2 will be odd so no second case uh, 2, 5, 2, 4, 1, 5 that's exactly what we expected then no because 3 will be uh, odd and for 8 2, 4, 1, 5 8, 10, 7, 11 right for 10 it will be no because 5 is going to be an odd number right uh, I hope it's clear I'll just go through it once in the meantime I'll just try and submit it yeah uh, so if n by 2 is an odd value that means our answer is going to be no because the left sum is going to be even and the right sum is going to be odd in this case else I'll try and make the answer yes uh, I just prove that answer is going to be always yes to do that what I can do is I can just uh, fix the first two values of the even and odd part as 2, 4 and 1, 5 and for the rest of the part I just keep uh, you know increasing the values by 6 uh, this is like uh, I, I, I trade from uh, by setting the value of i equals to 0 the first index of the even part and j equals to n by 2 the first index of the odd part I will do it n by 2 times I will do i plus plus j plus plus each time and then uh, the value at i is going to be val of 0 2 in this in the first case and then uh, for the just just next value is going to be the val of 1 then the first the current j's value is going to be val of uh, 2 and then the next value is going to be val of 3 and i'll uh, just i just did not do i plus plus j plus plus here because it will be done here by default so before going to the next uh, iteration i'll just add the values uh, add 6 to all the values to ensure that we have uh, distinct values as given in the question so that they are not the uh, same let's see if it's accepted yeah it's accepted so this was it for this video guys i hope you in, uh, understood the solution if something is unclear you can drop down a comment and i'll, I'll try to clear it out thank you mm -hmm.